So quite a few of you have asked me to teach a private class on how Joe does the oxtails. I'm not going to do that because it's too much to set up here. I don't have like a good computer to do these live um, cooking lessons. So this is going to be your private class, all right? Let's get right into it, guys. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Welcome to The Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant-style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. All right, so far, this is what Joe has done. He opened up the oxtails and are you doing the two packages? Yeah. Normally we try to do one package because the thing is so darn expensive, but we only get two little pieces and then Joshua gets the rest. So we're gonna cook the whole thing today, all right? And when it's done, oh well, we just can't that's, afford it anymore. It's done. It. So, <laughs> Doctor, how much you put on that? Mm -hmm. Is that garlic powder? Mm -hmm. Mothers. You wanna cook with garlic even though I don't really like the smell of garlic. I don't mind the taste of garlic, you know. It's the smell I can't get past. But you want to put garlic on beef meat all the time because it kills that hoody smell. <laughs> Where that word came from, I forgot that word. Some cayenne, don't put too much on it because I want to be able to eat it. So salt, black pepper, that, that was Ricardo that Joe kind of, it's the, it's the clear Anoche. Ricardo that he just, what? Anate. Anato, he said anoche. <laughs> Achiote or anato. And he just kind of broke it up into kind of like a powder. So he's just like seasoning it up. You can put other spices if you like, but if you want it to taste like Joe's oxtails, which is thebomb.com, you want to put what he puts. He puts some ground thyme mm -hmm. and uh, garlic powder, mm -hmm. salt, black pepper, ricotta, mm -hmm. cayenne. Normally you would put some onion powder if you had, but we don't have any right now, right? I don't put no onion powder. Oh, you don't put no onion powder? Because I'm going to use onions. Oh, okay. So if he's using real onions in the thingamajig, then he doesn't put onion powder. Note to self. And folks, when your, co your meat is cooking, always taste it to see if you got enough salt in it. So taste the gravy. Right. Uh huh. I mean, I once it starts cooking. Uh huh. I put salt in. I know I don't have. It's not going to be enough because this is uh, what sea salt. Uh huh. Pink and, uh, Himalayan sea salt that he grinded and right, became uh, a dusty powder. It might look like I put a lot, but it's not a lot. Is this pot gonna be the, the right size pot? Yeah. I think Let me show them. This is from my setup pot that I got from Costco. You know what, guys? I'm sure I paid like $139 or $140 for this setup pot, but no, Costco has it for $200, $199. I was gonna go buy another set just to put away because they're already messing up my pot, see? I don't know, I think this is like a 10-inch pot or a 12-inch pot. Okay, so, so let's move on into what he's gonna do next. Okay. Now, if they have a non-stick skillet like this, can they, and they're watching their oil intake, can they do it without any oil at all? If, if they want to, because this is going to... But, gonna, but it will cut down on the flavor, right? right? It'll cook, but it'll cut down on the flavor. Yeah, because this is going this to produce its own oil. Okay. Okay. Okay, folks, I got to light my stove for this because the clicker went out. You gonna bring this up to temperature first, or? You're not. You don't have to, but let's bring it up to temperature. Okay, so it's totally cold right now. He's gonna heat it up just a tad, and then he's gonna put the meat pieces in so that we can um, brown the meat. But these people say brown the meat. Yeah. I think the proper term for that would be um, sear, sear. I guess. So. Yeah, sear the meat because you want to get it brown on all sides. And oxtails tend to be kind of square, <laughs> so you want to turn it on all six sides. Okay. Ooh, I want this big one right here. That's mine. I'm going to name him. I'm going to name him Cleotis. Biggie. Cleotis. <laughs> okay, it's feeling warm here. You don't have to wait. And, and a note, guys. This is going to spatter. He always has to go blow his nose because of the black pepper. 
this is gonna spatter everywhere so maybe you want to cook it on the back burner but on one of the big burners but Joe doesn't care because I'm the one that does the mopping okay And when putting things in a pan, you want to put it, you know, you want to move everything, but you want to put it clockwise so you can know which one to turn first, okay? Long years ago, I published my first cookbook of recipes from my home country of Belize. My cooking show, The Bear Pantry Show, was created based on that book. Seven years later, I redid the book, removed some of the recipes that I didn't deem to be authentic enough, and added about 30 brand new recipes that are easy to follow, budget friendly, authentic, and comes out perfect each time. Matter of fact, it comes out perfect the first time. Get your copy today only from www.bearpantryshow.com Shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com Meanwhile, you guys notice that I put on the potato with the eggs, right? So I did one large potato and a medium potato and I did four eggs and that's going to give us quite a bit of potato salad. Let me see if I have the salad dressing because I know my sister gave me one. Hello, people. I can't cope with black pepper. Black pepper messed me up. This is one that I had that my Uncle Roger sent for me. Shout out to Uncle Roger and Miriam. Thank you guys for this one. This is Grace's salad dressing. I don't know if this will be enough for what I'm trying to do, but my sister gave me one. I don't know where the kids put it. They're probably hiding it from me. Oh, it's here. Shout out to my sister Tracy for getting me this. The Heinz, and we'll mix both of them together. We don't care. So he's giving the onion time to caramelize, then he's going to add the cilantro, then he's going to return the oxtails back to the pot and add water and then it's just a matter of it stewing. Well, he's gonna add everything.
does not look amazing already guys the only thing now the beef has to cook because it has to get tender right joe mm -hmm. are you going to cover it now with a lid huh? you're going to cover it with a lid yeah. so you can cook cover with a lid and you just got to keep checking on it and just keep on adding water until it gets soft so in a sense it's boiling right yeah. you want me to put the cover on it yeah yes so this is just like if you are in a class with joe and this one doesn't have any holes so i'm gonna vent it slightly okay you don't want it to boil over Woo. i don't even taste nothing so he said there's not not enough salt so he's gonna add some more meanwhile i'm prepping remember for the potato salad i told you guys <laughs> it looked like i put a lot of salt in there but it's not true because i grind this down like a powder and it has less sodium in it anyway. It's a bit of a taste, so let's put some more in there and see what we get. It's kind of hard to work with Joe in the kitchen though because Joe dashes around. So for the potato salad, it's going to be diced onions, the eggs, and peas and carrots. Yes, we put peas and carrots in our potato salad. That's a Belizean thing, okay? Well, a lot of Belizeans put mixed vegetables. Yeah. I don't like that though because it has that white hard potato in there that's nasty. It's what you like people remember if you want that then you go for that. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the potato salad. I dice up the potato small. I'm going to go ahead and add the onion. This is very easy to put together. I'm going to ask you, if you see all this stuff here, I'm working on a sweet potato pie for the Thanksgiving book. So sometimes we're actually cooking to eat and sometimes we're working on stuff. Joe, can you do me a favor, babe, and open the peas and carrots for me? So um, while Joe's opening the peas and carrots, tell them what all happened with the, um, the ox steel. I put water three times when Joe went to the store to buy the coconut milk for the rice and beans and it was two cups each time. Yeah. like a measuring cup then joe came back he had a lot of water in this thing you used all of that right that was a, at least another three of that so six more cups six seven eight about ten cups of water in sense. yeah so about 12 cups which is what two liters a good two liters of water we put in timely so whenever the thing would cook down before it started to burn we put more water mm -hmm. and then just let it cook right then uh -huh. cooking it as you cook you're just checking and see if it's getting soft Mm -hmm. And the minute they get soft the way you want it, mm -hmm. then let it cook down with the gravy and then you're done. And let's show what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. so we didn't show all of that because it's just a matter of adding the water and letting it cook mm -hmm. and boil and boil and boil and boil. Well, well, we and see how thick it is? He didn't do anything. He didn't put no cornstarch, no nothing like that in there. I saw Auntie Fee one time do this, Joel. She put the oxtails in the oven, throw some flour or cornstarch on it and mm -hmm. just let it go. I'm like, just, want that. Just the onions and... Whatever I cook for, I bring it to that. Mm -hmm. Give that nice thick gravy. The rice and beans is cooking right here. I'm doing the potato salad, and I have that sweet potato back there to make that sweet potato pie. Oh, it's going to be a nice meal today, guys. I needed, I needed to use a little bit of this, guys. But this is what it looks like. A nice wet potato salad. Show me the rice and beans, Joe. It's not quite done yet. It's getting there. Joe is the rice and beans whisperer. That's coming. After tasting the um, sweet potato pie uh, batter, it wasn't sweet enough. So I'm adding half a cup of sugar to the mix, okay? I'm blind baking the pie dough right now. And we're gonna put this in. And I'm going to taste it even though there's egg in this. I'll taste it in a second to see if it's sweet enough. I think the sweet potato just kind of sucked up all the sweet out of that lactose free condensed milk. And I swear that that lactose free condensed milk is not as sweet as regular mm -hmm. condensed milk. Mm -hmm. True? Mm -hmm. True? Yeah, it has a, a weird color too. Let's taste this. Better? That's it right there. I'm just going to mix it in more well because I could taste the sugar in there kind of runzy. 
And then um, these people here are just gonna start plating their food, just helping me cut up some salad. And Joe, you wanna start plating your food, babe? Mm -hmm. You wanna start plating your food? Mm -hmm. That's good, huh, Josh? Okay, mm -hmm. hold on, Josh, let me plate my food. All right. Mommy, keep rolling? Yeah, I'm going to go get a pretty plate though. Hold on. All right. Bring, my, bring that roasted finger back here. <laughs> so you're going to have them there. All right, so a third cup. How much is half of a third? Half of a third. It's um two tablespoons plus two teaspoons child <laughs> child this is this is a uh, one quarter this is two tablespoons quarter right yeah quarter plus three teaspoon okay one. so that's two tablespoons that's it that's it that because is. i want to have the potato salad what the that's the what is your IT, Joe? What do you mean the IT? This one? This first one? <laughs> no, that's your IT. You had it right. It's <laughs> incisors. So commoners like us say IT. So this is a quarter of the plate right here. A quarter will be meat and the rest is going to be vegetables. I don't know what you'll do with this salad, but it is what it is. That's a half, right? Half of the plate? Uh, yeah, it looks that way. I'm not going to eat these cucumbers because they have seed. One week before my test, I have to stop eating stuff with seeds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Josh, I said, where did I put the camera? Story of my life. I never know where I set the camera down. So Joe is showing us his one third. <laughs> Joe, Joe, this Joe said that's one third of the plate is the carbs, okay? And then he says, I'm gonna come back later for my veggies. He does, I'm gonna give him credit, he does come back but he eats very little. Joe, your plate is supposed to be more like, you know what, I shouldn't give away my secret. Cause I'm gonna have a whole ebook ready in the next couple of days. And you guys are gonna know how to eat like this, see? Half the plate is veggies, a quarter of the plate is meat, and you know there's not a lot of meat on this, uh, on the ox tail bone. And see that little bit? It's one eighth of a cup of potato salad, one eighth of a cup of rice and beans. Carla, you were asking me that, right? And I have a little piece of plantain. And I'm still working on this thing here, this sweet potato pie. I think it'll come out good in the long run. I'm just blind baking the dough, then I'll stick it in there. All right, this is the end of this show right here, guys. I don't know if we're gonna be doing a mukbang kajo already ran to go eat and I don't know, we'll see. Maybe you'll see a mukbang, all right? See you in a little while. Bye-bye. Remember guys, we're not buying this book. Why? Because my distributor is ripping me off and not paying me any of my royalties. So for this reason, I redid the book that's being sold on Amazon and I made this book. I removed a bunch of the recipes from the first book because I did not deem them to be authentically Belizean enough. And I put a bunch of brand new recipes in here. So you're gonna get more for your money, okay? So when you buy this book, you're gonna find that the recipes are very easy to understand and the dishes are gonna come out perfect the very first time. So this book was made in 2018. In the middle of the pandemic in 2020, I made this book, The Pantry Laid Bare, and this is restaurant quality, no, no, not restaurant quality, better than restaurant quality meals at home. Now, in 2021, I have my brand new book. This one's called No More Leftovers. Why? Because I reduced some of the recipes from this book some of the recipes from this book and I put a bunch of brand new recipes in there but they're all small batches all right now to purchase all you have to do is visit my website www.bearpantryshow.com you can shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com happens in really This is the best.